What's going on guys? My name is Chris. You're watching Raising the Bar and today we're going to be talking about how we are all our own worst enemies and we are our own biggest competitors. Okay, so this is something I think we all have suffered from at some point or another in our lives and sometimes it can be difficult to escape that overly critical nature that we impose upon ourselves and that judgment and perhaps resentment about the things that we've done. So today we're going to be talking about seven ways that we can go about escaping that overly critical mind space and help get you back onto a healthy headspace and a healthy track to conquering your goals. So number one is identify your negative thoughts. So, on a daily basis, if there is some repetition that's taking place, where you're self-loathing and maybe you feel like you suck or you're boring or you're not entertaining or you're not attractive, well, identify all of those different keywords that keep popping up into your head about how you view yourself on a daily basis. Next thing I want you to do is take out a paper and write down all of those words. Because what we want to do is we want to get a very clear idea as to how your personal perception is so that way we can reverse engineer and figure out exactly why you feel this way. Step two, I want you to identify those terms. So when you say you suck, why do you suck? Why do you feel that way? What is it that you think sucks about you? How do you define sucking? Or if you think you're ugly, why do you think you're ugly? How do you define that? I want you to take all those terms that you put together in step one, and I want you to identify how you define them. So that way we can have a very clear understanding as to how you define these characteristics that you've imposed upon yourself. Now, the next thing I want you to do, and this is step three, I want you to identify any evidence that you happen to have that pertains to all of those terms that you identified earlier. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you happen to think that you're boring, why, do you, why is it that you think you're boring? What evidence has presented itself in your life that has led you to believe that you are in fact boring? Or whatever those terms happen to be for you. What evidence do you have to back those claims? Write them down. Step four, I want you to write down the advantage of criticizing yourself. What do you get out of that? Now. There's a couple ways to look at this one because I personally criticize myself all the time, not to the point where I put myself down, but to the point where I can assess and identify areas where I could become better. All right. So I don't look at it as, oh, I'm terrible. I look at it as how can I get better? So I want you to think about your reasons for self-criticism and I want you to write those down. What are you getting out of it? That's positive. Step five. I want you to replace that self-criticism with reward. So when I say reward, what I'm talking about is on a daily basis, rather than focusing on the things that you did poorly, I want you to highlight the things that you did correctly or exceptionally. So pull out that same paper and I want you to write down things that you felt you did good today. And it could be small things, by the way. Maybe you made your bed, maybe you cooked food, anything. Right? But I want you to write down any of the positive things that you did with your day and put those in a separate column. Step six, do you really need to evaluate yourself? Is it imperative that you do this on a daily basis? No, that's the answer. It's absolutely not. Because you can get to your goal without being overly self-critical. And how do you do that? Well, you just keep moving forward. Stop striving for perfection and just keep moving forward and consistently try to do your best over and over and over and over and then ultimately you're going to see that progression takes place. But beating yourself up because you weren't picture perfect or you didn't have the ideals for that particular day and harboring and focusing on that isn't going to do anything but make you feel worse and demotivate you from trying again. So if we replaced that self-evaluation period at the end of the day with basically things that we could do the next day and how we're going to improve. Just the first thing you could think of is how we're going to improve. Not, I did this bad and focusing on that. Oh, I did this terribly. It would be like, well, let's say I filmed this video and let's say I stumbled on my words or I didn't do it in one single take. I'm not going to sit there and beat myself up about it. I'm going to say, all right, listen, I need more practice. I need more experience. Let's do it again. That's the th thought process that I want you to adopt. And sometimes all you can do is channel that energy into something else. And maybe that's your work. Maybe that's exercise. It's different for everybody. But channel that energy into a positive. 
Step seven, replacing the evaluation with observing and reporting upon yourself. So what do I mean by that? Firstly, nobody is going to be perfect. And I think there's a level of acceptance that needs to take place. I'm not talking about complacency, by the way, that's different. What I'm talking about is being comfortable with where you are right now. Do you understand what I mean by that? That, okay, maybe you're not as good at something as you want to be, or maybe you could be better in these areas, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's completely okay for you to be where you are right now, provided you have a clear sense of direction of what you're going to do differently in the future. So that way you can get that much closer to where you want to be. But I want you to really sit down and think about the self-evaluation period that you might have and recognize that you are your own worst enemy at the end of the day. And I really don't want that to hold you back from achieving what it is that you want out of your life. I've gone through it so many times where I've been so overly self-critical and beat myself up and held myself to such an unrealistic standard that it made me feel bad about myself without realizing I've accomplished so much that it almost seems infinitesimal that I've accomplished everything because what I want is so much further away. But that's part of the journey. That's part of the challenge that we face as human beings. And ultimately, at the end of the day, what you need to sit down and reflect on is what you've accomplished, what you do that's positive on a daily basis, as opposed to focusing on the negative. Because that negative is going to do nothing but bring you down. So, do your best. Focus on your goals. Keep it on the forefront of your mind. That self-evaluation period, keep it in perspective. Don't harbor any guilt or self-loathing on a daily basis. And hopefully you can power forward and achieve your goals and do what you want with your life without chaining yourself together. And with that, guys, I am out of here. Have a great day. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe down below. And always visit my website, rtbtransformations.com. And with that, guys, I am out of here. Make today great.